Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of The Bard's Tale for the Director's Cut. We're going to get through this real quick. Don't worry, guys and gals. I'll showcase the song soon. I promise. All right, we're going to go with As Designed. Everything is going to be good. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. This is going to be Bumpy McSquiggums. And we're going to confirm it. Let's listen, and then we'll do the introduction and the greeting properly, guys and gals. The song I sing will tell the tale of a cold and wintry day, of castle walls and torch-lit halls, and a price men had to pay. When evil fled and brave men bled, the Dark One came to stay. Tell men of old for blood and gold had rescued a Scarabray. have it so ladies and gentlemen there's gonna be a little bit more but soon I promise we'll be able to get that introduction going everything will be sweet sweet nice styles anyhow I've been wanting to return to Scarabray to the Bard's Tale 4 for quite some time it stayed installed on my computer ready to play at any given moment and they just released a director's cut so here we are do you feel pity friends when you look upon these wretches well wash it from your hearts for these are the villains who seek to turn Scarabray into a pit of depravity. Elves, dwarves, trow, and practitioners of the dark arts. Enemies all, whose wicked lives must end if our city is to live in peace again. Us. Lovely. Children, shall the Sword Father smite all who befriend the old races? Fun times. All right, so we shall drive we're, we're gonna walk away from him a little bit. Of course, that means we got to walk to a place that isn't intuited with just tons and tons of music and other things. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scarabray. Welcome back to the Bard's Tale Four. This is the director's cut. It's been about a year since the game originally released, and they decided that they were going to go and they were going to fix a lot of the little issues and things that people had with the game, a lot of criticisms and just feedback that they got in general. And this is uh, this is what they, they came up with. So, like I said, I've been looking forward to returning to Scarabray and the Bard's Tale 4 for quite a long time. Kept wanting to do it, wanting to do it, and now I'm like, you know what? It's here, we have the director's cut, I'm making this a priority, we're coming back, we're going to play it. So, with that, let's begin our journey. But before we do that, I have turned down the volume a little bit, so hopefully I'm not drowned out by all the awesomeness and ambiance that is this wonderful, wonderful place. Alright, so, first up we must go speak with Rabbi, and we will. But before we do that, let's kind of just look around and see what's going on here. Anything to say, ma'am? No? What about you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There seems to be quite a bit of corruption and just horribleness in this place in general, so... How can people cheer murder? I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know how they can cheer murder. That is a good question. Alright, well, let's continue our adventure. Let's go talk with Rabbi and hear what he has to say. Oh, that's a bad business. And no mistake. Indeed. I... I don't understand. What did they do? What was their crime? Their crime? Existing was their crime. The Fatherites don't like our kind. Come on, before those paladins give us a second glance. I'll give them a second glance. And maybe a... Oh, oh here now. Save it. You'll only get yourself killed. And we need you. You're gonna save Scarabray. Alright, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's save it. <laughs> ah, you're looking at me like you think old Rabbi's had a few too many. Well, maybe I have. But this is no drunkard's fancy. You've been in my dreams seven nights now, and each one with the same end. You the hero? And me lost. That doesn't sound good for you. 
They all start with some evil slithering out of the darkness, and you driving it back from whence it came. But I don't make it to the happy ever after. That sucks. And there's a moment right at the end where you could save me, and instead you choose not to. You just turn away and leave me to be buried alive. Well, I sound like a jerk. Jeez, I'm sorry. Well, maybe that means I shouldn't trust you. But you're the best hope we've got. So I guess I'll just have to pray that part's not true. Indeed. Anyway, hero, let's get back to the Adventurer's Guild. I have a few words to say to the congregation. Okay. This way. All right, Rabbi has joined the party. Rabbi, the leader of the Adventurer's Guild, has temporarily joined your party. While in combat, Rabbi can attack with his axe and his shillelagh. I, I'm assuming that's, what, that's how you pronounce it. As well as hand out health potions to his allies. Cool. This is Melody the Bard. She's your very first adventurer. You'll be able to replace her with a custom character shortly, if you like. Nope, we're sticking with Melody. She can attack with a hatchet, gain powers by drinking booze, and play Sanctuary Score to shield her allies. You can bring up the party bar at any time by right-clicking. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's go. Let's go continue our little adventure here. You can't swing a cat in Scarabray these days without hitting a paladin. Not that I'm prone to swinging cats. You might be. I don't know. What's this now? Hoiston's Market. Get your meat here. Finest chops and fillets. Guaranteed not to be cat. <laughs> Guaranteed not to be cat. Water from the lake. Somebody's singing to you, right? Wards of elves. Terrifies dwarves. Protect yourself from monsters with a sword pendant. What a load of shite. Always a few who'll take advantage of hard times. Indeed. Alright. Just open that barrel. It's fine. We're going to loot it all. Well, she's, she's pretty happy with washing that clothing. Good for her. This is where I always set up. I don't care. You're blocking the public way. You'll have to move. Well, where am I supposed to go? That's your problem. Just go. Okay. I know there's a whole bunch of stuff. And I don't know what I've missed or what I haven't Uncle. missed. Okay. Excuse me. There's nothing. Hot soup! Delicious soup! Oh, this guy. Best soup you'll ever have! Alright, I like soup. This guy, I remember this guy not being nice. Come here for soup, have you? Well, soup is not an adequate description for what you'll be getting. You'll be getting fulfillment! Joy! The tender embrace of your mother's arms! This is not just soup! It is a revelation, a liquid epiphany, heaven by the spoonful. There is no question that this soup is good enough for you. The question you have to ask yourself is, am I good enough for this soup? I don't know. I don't care. Give me that soup. That sounds delicious. Hmm. Uh, no. On consideration, you are not good enough for this soup. Ruffians. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say. Aha! What did I get? Pure granulated sweetness. It goes well on everything. Is there a loot all button? I know. Like, I, I know there's a button there, but I mean, like, is there one that... Like just lets me loot all automatically without having to click. Like like F or spacebar or shift Q W and Z at the same time. I don't know. Okay, that looks painful and unsatisfying. That weird head tilt. Uh -oh. There's nothing to be gained fighting the Fatherite's head on. There's another way. At least 
I hope that is. Murdering more people. Only evil dwells there. Only evil. The great evil. What's this? Metal scraps. Yeah. All right. Ooh, treasure chest. I got gold skeet. Skate. Skate. Potato? Potato! That is depravity! What is it? Malefian essence. This dust is what remains after a demon is slain. It is quite rare and it tends to blow before it can be gathered. Not cool, man. I need, I need I need a grappling hook now. Some more sugar. Why do, why is there a bunch of weird demon powder just like laying around that like nobody's concerned by this? I may have to adjust the sounds a bit more, guys and gals. I'll hear how it sounds after my first video, and then we'll play around until we get the right mix, because I feel like it is a bit on the loud side. Why would you report a hero? Poor, poor girl. What's going on over here? Well, I think I've done everything that I can do over in this area. Time to move on to the next. Alright, soup buddy. I'd love to sit around like each place and let them just like sing. But I don't know if it's a good idea. I remember I got stuck back over there and somehow like glitched over an item and I got like stuck behind it and I couldn't glitch right back over. But eventually I was able to, but it was it was uh, it was a little bit scary, not gonna lie. All right, so it's it's relatively straightforward at this point, honestly. Seems like they're hiding anywhere. They hanged my shoemaker last week. He must have done something wrong. The temple knows what it's doing. Does it though? Does it know what it's doing? Because I feel like that is categorically untrue, sir. That seems dangerous. To listen to the music. So cool. I absolutely love this game, by the way, guys and gals. I know I didn't get to play as much of it as I wanted to, or as much as some folks wanted to see, but it is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend you guys check it out. I'm really curious as to what has changed. It just feels like a shame to even do commentary on this game, or... Or to talk, or to turn down the music, even you know, it's just it's so good. Hi. What's up? Uh, excuse me. Cabbage, you got your carrots and uh, potatoes. Okay. Um, are you okay? Cabbage, carrots, potatoes. Mm. Cabbage. Did you say anything else? He does not. Thought maybe like we could trigger some sort of weird puzzle with him. All right. Well, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, my friend. I do feel sorry for the elves. Really, I do. Shh! Don't say that out loud. I heard it. You feel sorry for the elves. I'm telling. I'm not telling. 
Father Wright notices and edicts. Be it known that the Temple of the Sword Father seeks the adventurer Hanaf Oakmore for questioning in connection with necromancy and possession of forbidden texts. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is instructed to report to the temple immediately by order of Bishop Henrid. Well. Ooh, another, another treasure chest. It must be my birthday. Ooh, look at that. Weathered leather tunic. I will take that. And I will equip it, maybe? Uh, plus two constitution, plus three constitution to one strength. Get on my body. Hers looks cooler though, it's all like green and glowy. It's, it's fine. I mean, it's probably fine. Well... I don't think there's much else I can do, except advance the storyline on just a little bit. Here we are, the guild. You seem sad. Not real sure why. But I'm sure there's a valid reason for it. New recruit. I'll be there in a minute. Other things to look around at. Ooh, what this? Place elven weapon. Turn of a page. Word of a sage. Sight of a fall. Start of it all. I don't know. I do not know. What's up? Can I talk to you? No? Gonna open this up. There Can... were more folk killed last night. Some great beast, they said. And again, they blame us for it. What I just saw at Henry's hanging tree was the last straw. We have to. Do you hear that? The song of the maiden. What does it foretell this time? Uh oh. Burn this dead of evil to the ground. Well, that's not good. Hey, hero. Hi. Okay. Would you like to create a custom character or keep Melody the Bard as your starting character? I'm going to keep Melody. I know a lot of people created a custom character, and if I had played through the entire game, with Melody the first time around, I would probably create a custom character this time. But since I only played a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna roll out with what we've got. You have a character that can use spell points. While in combat, magic spells and bardic songs cost spell points to activate instead of opportunity points. Spell points can be generated in combat by using abilities like Chug or Meditate. Practitioners also passively generate spell points each turn. Spell abilities are easy to spot because of the spell point icons on them. Confirm. Alright, so we, I guess, climbed all the way down from up there and. Oh! We made it! Yeah. What a nightmare, eh? Come on! We've got to get to the old guild and figure a way to protect ourselves. Sure, that seems totally legit and easy to do. And this fiery... Why is it on fire down here? This doesn't make any sense. It's a bunch of burning bushes and roots and things. I don't, I don't really understand. Looks like I can open that. That looks noisy. The Adventurer's Guild from back before the old town was buried is still here after all these years. Just a little filthier liable to collapse. At least it's well hidden. No danger of another visit from the Fatherlands. You say Hello. that, and yet... We're looking for a green door. And yet I, I really feel like there's going to be another... another visit. Well, this place is... sort of tranquil, you know? What's this? 
Do not enter. By order of the temple, this property is condemned. Disease, corruption, or abominations may be found within. Do not enter. Collection, some herbs to be had. There's a barrel that's got a carrot and some mushrooms, I'm sure. Carrot barrel, ooh, I can ignite this. I lit a magical lantern. I don't really know what that did for me, but surprise, I did it. That's to collect all the herbs and things. All right, what do we got? Some more loot over here. It's not working. It's, it's fine. It's probably fine. All right, on where do we go? And Hold I'm on, hero. You'd better touch that luck stone. Lux stones have been around since before the All War. And it's always good to give them a rub, particularly before a fight. They can give you a second chance if things go wrong. Okay. Save game. Yeah. Now you're safe. No matter what befalls, you'll come right back to here. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, um... I think we're pretty close to a fight. So what I would prefer to do, or would like to do, I should say, is actually get into that fight, and then we'll break off the episode immediately after that. We'll go back to the save stone and all that. Let's take a grappling hook point, which we don't have yet. I don't know what this is. Celestial's, celestial offerings. Oh, I don't have this thing. You've discovered a celestial offering altar. These statues reward powerful items if you offer the right objects. However, they are not required to complete your adventure. To figure out which items to offer, you will need the celestial code wheel and the adventurer's celestial almanac. The code wheel can be found by visiting that website or in the extras folder in the game's local files. The almanac is located inside the adventurer's game. Well, I'm pretty sure that... We can't do this, because I don't have any of that stuff right now. Also, I don't have a whole lot of things just to offer up anyway. So, let's see what's up here. Are they adventurers? Did they escape the fire? By the moment. Don't think these are any friends of ours. No. They're up to mischief. We'll have to fight them, I fear. Huh? We'll just loot the dead guy first. Look out, an enemy! Charge enemies before they spot you to get the first strike. If they spot you, they'll get the first turn. Ah, all right. First strike. Kill, kill for the masters. It is our turn. Combat in the Bard's Tale is turn-based. You have three opportunity points to spend each turn. This number will increase as you progress. Your adventurers have abilities that cost opportunity to activate. The only way to recover opportunity after it is spent is to end your turn. Alright. What, yeah. what do you got for me? Oh, you're also a bard. Head knocker. Physical. At your command. We do not do a lot of damage. Each time your bard takes a drink, they get a little drunk. If their drunkenness level exceeds their intelligence, they'll have a brief, brief burst of strength before they pass out and are stunned for one turn. All this can be seen if you inspect the drunk status effect, drink responsibly. Okay. Alright, give an allied combatant a shield with five constitution for one turn. All right, there we are. So we're gonna have to chop a fool. On your word. And then chop a fool. And then kill this guy straight up. 
I mean, we didn't have the drink and all that stuff. I just wanted to try it again. All right, so ten experience, pretty easy stuff for Call us. For the masters. What masters? I wonder. I don't know. I looks like we got some grain and some uh, cash monies. We gained a, a cutthroat dragon's bile bomb. Oh, well, that seems lovely. Not real sure why I can do that or what purpose it serves, but it's there. Surprise! All right. Maybe those rogues were carrying something to burn down these boards. What did you find on them? I found that bile bomb that I was just talking about. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be where we break off the first episode. So if you guys saw my original coverage of The Bard's Tale 4, well, this is going to look very familiar, and it's going to be a few episodes in before we get to new content, but I'm excited. Like I said, I've been wanting to return to this for a very long time, ever since I stopped playing it, because things get too crazy and busy. But a lot of stuff is changing, a lot of stuff is on the horizon, and, and I have high hopes. Anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature. Like it always is, this game is once again called The Bard's Tale 4. It's the director's cut, and it's by In Exile Entertainment. Subscribe to the channel, guys and gals, if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more. And I'm just going to basically walk around in this little sewer -y area. Let the opening song play, because it's just awesome and it needs to be shared. And when that's done, that'll be the end of the episode. Alright. Summer's day in Scarabri Became a wintry night Foes from below blood on the snow Bright crimson on white A madman's story of ancient glory Brought death from far away for eldritch power did Mangar scour the depths of Scarabri. Snow in summer, ice in my heart, death's cold fingers tear us apart. Snow in summer, Ice in my head Death's cold fingers Tear us apart Against Manger's horde we took up sword And fought from dawn to dawn Though we did win too many kin Gave life to see them gone to Manga's lair we took the snare, its hooks did end his reign. Now there it lies, if fair he rise, to bring him low again. Snow in summer, ice in my head, death's cold fingers tear us apart. Snow in summer, ice in my head, death's cold fingers tear us up.